What's good, Clutch Team? I'm back with another video today, and today we're going to be talking about a very controversial topic. And it's a topic that's been around through all sports, but it specifically came back towards the NFL. And it's happened at the recent owners' meeting, which Jerry Jones brought up. And the question is, should the NFL legalize marijuana? And before I kick off this video, I have no biased opinion on this drug. Me personally, I don't smoke marijuana, I don't do any drugs, but I've had, I have a whole bunch of friends, I say 80% of my school smokes marijuana, and it might even be higher than that, I might be underrating that, but we're going to head and hop into this, in the past history of marijuana. Marijuana is a very controversial topic drug that has been fully legalized in Colorado and Washington currently to this day, and others... You got other states, but they're not fully legalized. Due, it's due to other things like post-traumatic stuff that happened in like the war and stuff. You have different it causes for it. And with the drug strong increase in the 1960s, influenced by bands like the Beatles, which also influenced LSD and tried to make it legalized, and many other influential celebrities throughout time, like Brad Pitt, and Jennifer Aniston, those types of people, people like on Friends, you know what I'm saying? Mr. and Mrs. Smith, those two people, if you know who they are, you should. They're very good actors. They smoke marijuana on daily. And many other influential celebrities throughout time, too. It's not just those guys. Today, marijuana is known as the relaxing, stress-free drug that is ha less harmful and not even harmful at all besides being behind the wheel or something. But if you're chilling, it's not harmful. It can't cause cancer to some people. And cigarettes, they're less harmful than cigarettes and alcohol, and that's a fact. But there are mixed emotions and different beliefs about marijuana, mostly from people from the Christian life and people like that, which all due to respect to them. That's what they believe. That's what they believe. They believe that it can cause cancer, which... I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I don't think so. The loss of brain cells, that has been proven wrong. And some call it the gateway drug to crack, crystal meth, cocaine, and methamphetamines. Any of that stuff that I do not know if it's true either. Now, we all know the owner of the most known franchise in football. He's not the Patriots, but the Cowboys. If you want to talk about brand spread, brand spread is definitely the Cowboys. Jerry Jones was at the owner meeting and he talked about wanting to end marijuana testing and off-field investigations. Most likely coming from him due to having difficulties with players in marijuana, especially recently with Randy Gregory, who's basically been suspended two years, I would say, due to him doing PEDs and marijuana. I searched up how long Mary Jane lasts in someone's system due to frequency it is used. Marijuana can raise the heart rate by 20% to 100% shortly after smoking and can affect up to 3 hours, which is not a big deal if you're a football player. The physical effects will not last that long as long as you have restrictions on your players, which we'll, I will get to towards the end. According to the NIDA, which has spread that, has said that, that's their own research. Marijuana, if used once a week, it stays in the system from 5 to 8 days, which that this is it. This is really it. One test implemented at some point between April 20th and early August. That's the NFL's policy. Okay. And there's a whole bunch of people that smoke marijuana in sports still to this day. And it's not hard to pass. You have former players who did it too. Any players that smoke weed including Carmelo Anthony. Former NFL player Randy Moss on NFL Countdown. And Marshawn Lynch the player who's probably about to return to his hometown in Oakland to play in their pat last year or two in Oakland before they go to Las Vegas. Now, one of the, what I think about it is, I think there's a way of legalization for marijuana. I have a format for when legal use times and that they are prohibited. All 32 teams have the right to allow their players to use marijuana, but have restrictions on their players when they can use it. The biggest reason I think marijuana should be legalized in the NFL is because a lot of times, you hear players complain about excessive pain for two to even three days after an NFL football game. And sometimes they end up having to go play on a Sunday night. Not Sunday night, probably not a Sunday night, but play on a Sunday. And the next week, they have to play on a Thursday. That doesn't happen every week, but it happens rarely, and that can be dangerous. And marijuana relaxes the body. 
and that would help them ease with pain the mentalness of the game everything and that's my opinion on marijuana i think all 32 teams should have restrictions have their own restrictions their own rules for marijuana and it shouldn't be by a whole thing it's like this is my like what I could think of right here. It's like the United States, okay? You have all 50 states. They all make up their own rules, you know what I'm saying? But the United States obviously makes up pretty much all the rules, but you have your state legislators and all this stuff that's involved into it, which you can have different things in different states. But it's kind of like it. The, the teams are the states, the NFL is the country, and the states have their own powers, like the teams should. And that's what that's it for this video. I think we should be legalized, but to a certain degree with restrictions. But I don't think a player should be suspended four games, even up to a year, for use of marijuana when it is not even as close as bad to any other drugs, unless in use behind a vehicle or something like that. But marijuana should be legalized. And you see here, I got my Mary Jane player here, number 69, born in Colorado. All right, I'm out. Peace.